We've been uh, using the Land Rovers for the last 50 years and this is, this is the new one, the Discovery 5, that we're going to trial uh, around the Connors and Fells. We've just driven up a track uh, now and it's gone up there very, very smooth. It's the smoothest I've ever driven it. It's not a Defender and we kind of have to be mindful of that. But what it does represent is where the next batch of technology is going and where it's leading us in terms of vehicle development and what it can bring to us in terms of performance off-road and safety and comfort, not only for the people trying to go to a rescue, but also what we have to be mindful of is the poor guy or lady who we brought off the fell, who maybe got a really badly broken leg and you put me in the Defender and God love them, they're fantastic vehicles but they aren't the smoothest of drives, irrespective of what track you're on. Now, you'll have seen some, from, so from some of the footage here that you know, the vehicle's more than capable of it, of, of coping with the terrain, but also it's smooth. And if you've got a badly broken leg, it doesn't matter how much pain relief you've had, it probably smarts quite a lot. So the smoother the ride, the better. Do you know when you're getting in a vehicle at two o'clock in the morning and it's pouring with rain, you're clambering around, there's all sorts of mechanical noises and everything. When you get in the Disco 5, what's quite interesting is how quiet, sublime it is, warm. It's very, very smooth, very, very smooth. Coming up the tracks now, it's quite encouraging to see how the drive system actually works. It's very intuitive. Um, whereas you're, you're clambering around in the Defender, which is a phenomenal, phenomenal piece of uh, engineering. To go into something now that's super smooth, it's almost a bit unnerving because it is so smooth. A lot of teams rely upon Land Rovers as their primary vehicles and, uh, and it probably seems appropriate that the, the Jaguar Land Rovers, as a supplier of those vehicles, just gets a bit more on board with, with Mountain Rescue and London Wheels to understand what the needs of the teams are as things develop going forwards.